Welcome to this video tutorial on how to do quick animations in Blender and then import them into p3d.in for sharing and embedding online. Here is a basic setup with a nice Lenovo tablet. Let's first make a simple intro animation. As a first step, let's select the object that needs to be animated, in this case the front part of the tablet. The animation we are going to add is a rotation of the screen like this. First, we are going to add an animation start keyframe by simply selecting the object and pressing I and then R for rotation. Now you can see a little dot here indicating that the keyframe has been saved. Now let's make the animation 60 frames long by clicking the number 60 on the timeline like this. I then rotate the screen around the X axis by pressing R and X, which is around this red line. Let's rotate it about 90 degrees and then press I again and R to select rotation. There we go. The first step is done for this tablet animation. You can play the animation and check it like this. That's enough for the tablet animation. Let's now do an animation that shows a projection of the screen onto the back wall. Let's select this image and go on keyframe two here on frame number two and press I and select scale. And then let's do the same again for this light projection shape. Now go back to frame number one and scale it down by pressing S and press zero. Or you can also use this panel here, which you get from here by pressing this little arrow. And this is the scale value, and you can make it zero to hide it before the animation starts. And again, you can go from here by pressing I and scale. Same thing goes for this projection light. Make it zero and I and scale. So that's it for our animation setup. Now we have to export the finished animation into p3d.in platform. So select file and select export and then gltf and select a name for the file. From this right side panel, I'm going to select Geometry and check the Apply Modifier button. And that is all that we need to do. So now I simply click on this Export GLTF menu. Now our GLTF file is ready here, so let's upload it to the P3D platform. Log in to p3d.in and then click on Create New Model. Then press Select File and select the file we just exported. It will take just a few seconds to load, and you can see the animation playing in a loop here. To stop the looping, Go to this animation tab and disable all animations from here. You can check the animations off one by one. If you need to check, you can see that all the animations work by clicking these eye icons. Now let's go to the hotspots tab and press add a hotspot by pressing this plus button. Let's name this hotspot Tablet. And also add a description here if needed. And the Place Hotspot button is for changing the position of this little button. So let's click on that and grab the hotspot and place it wherever you want. For now, let's add it to the tablet here. Then let's select the animation that is controlled by this focus action. In this case, the tablet action we created earlier. And for playback mode, we need to select play once. So it will only play once when we click on this tablet label. Now let's adjust the camera angle. 
we can now move the mouse around to set the camera angle. For example, to something like this. Then just click here on this camera icon to set the new camera angle. Now, let's set another hotspot for the image projection, and let's name it Projection. Let's place a hotspot somewhere around there. And for Focus Action, let's select the Light Action. This one is for the light projection and image projection effect. Let's add another action for this one and make sure that both are set to play once by selecting each and then playback mode to play once. Also, let's set the camera angle to something like this for the projection. And then click here to set up the new camera angle. And now let's add another hotspot to show a close-up of this USB port. Again, let's add a hotspot by pressing the plus, and let's call it port. Let's place the hotspot here. For focus action, we don't need to do anything, and for camera angle, maybe we can select something like this and click here for the new camera angle. And lastly, click Save Changes. This is where the model will be uploaded and saved to p3d.in. So it will take a few seconds, as you can see on the status bar. It's very important not to interrupt the upload at this point in order to not lose your changes. Now, after upload, when we click on this tablet icon, we can see that our tablet rotates, and also that the camera moves to the camera angle we have set earlier. Now let's click on the port button, and we can see that it will change camera angle and also show the ports. Let's finally click on projection button, and you can see that the projection also works. Thanks for watching this short demo. Do let us know at support at p3d.in if you have any questions or feedback.